as we're going up, look on your right, the beautiful view. And as we approach uh, uh, Bufavento, prepare yourselves for a good hour's climb. We're finally at the top of Bufavento Castle. I never thought I was going to make it. It's such a tough climb. It's unbelievable. And I'm now of an age that can't take much, much difficulties. But anyway, I've made it up here and it's wonderful. And it's really the magic castle. Of all three, four castles on, uh, on the Carinia Mountains, I think this, is, this has got the magic, this has got the mystery. This is full of history and, and, and uh, uh, you, can, you can see the ghosts almost. I mean, under here where I stand was the dungeons that the two brothers were, were imprisoned uh, by James I. I mean, there's so many stories and I'm uh, thinking of Maria de Molino, uh, the leper queen that was up here according to the legend, it's just lovely. I think, I think I'm going to pretend I am the, the queen of the castle and wait for the mules to take me down <laughs> rather <laughs> alas, I'll have to walk it down. I think everybody was very happy today. I think we're now, we've had our exercise, we've seen the most beautiful views from here to Carinia, to the mountains, across the sea, in the plain of Nicosia, and I think we're all ready to go and have a good lunch. We're at the bottom of the mountain and we're about to leave now. It's been a wonderful day, but there is one sad point that I would like to make. It's an appeal to the authorities. Try and preserve this castle. We have seen that all the rooms were covered with uh, dung from animals. They're being used as animal pens. And all the walls are covered with terrible graffiti. It's a pity. These walls are ancient. These rooms are ancient. Please, let's all try to clean them and preserve them, not allow animals to live in them. Mm -hmm.